Hello and welcome. My name is Natasha and I am the owner of the Magical Blessing Healing Center. How nice it is to see you. I hope that you can continue to uh, enjoy the journey. And what a journey it has been. About a month ago, I was asked to start blogging and I've quite enjoyed that. And then my son said, Mom, why don't you join uh, the social media world and start vlogging? And I gave him that slow, blank stare and got over it. And so here I am with vlogging. However, the same son said, mother, these are so low tech. Okay, so as part of the journey, I will also be updating my video editing skills because evidently I need Star Wars or something going on back here. So um, thank you for being patient and I hope that you were able to enjoy the low tech version and then I will be updating my abilities uh, because my son is definitely mother. So um, I also would like to say that yay, it's the year 2015. Welcome to a new year. If we look at the numerological aspects and take the number 2015 and add two plus zero plus one plus five, and that equals eight. And with us equaling eight in numerology terms, that is the year of abundance. Yes, I don't know about you, but I love abundance. So I am wishing and blessing every single one of us you, me, everybody, uh, to have a beautifully abundant year. How cool is that? I also would like to take the opportunity to introduce myself a little bit more. Um, I, my name is Natasha and I am the owner of the Multi Magical Blessing Healing Center. And yes, when I'm more, you know, technologically up, up to date with my son, it, it will appear at the, the bottom of the video. Um, as for now, I will just verbally say it. And I am a multi, multi-dimensional, uh, angelic, heart intuitive, energy healer, and Reiki master of the Yusini lineage. What does that mean? It means that I work with the angels. I'm a conduit of source. I don't have any middle people, no middlemen. Um, and I work straight from heart. And so heart intuitive means straight of heart and from source. Uh, I am also very, very blessed to be able to work very, very strongly uh, and have a very strong connection with nature. And that's all the elements of nature. That is water, oh, I love water fire, I've been told I have a fiery personality, um, air and earth. And so uh, that could be something as crystals. And, you know, I love crystals, working with flowers, flower therapy, animal communicating, uh, whatever it is that comes to me is what I use. And so I pull from a variety of areas and that's just a, a smidge of where I can pull from and, and, and what I'm um, able to do. So I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of idea and background as to who I am. So the year 2015, the energies are pretty good. We're about to come into a full moon Whew, already. So. Cross your fingers and hope this full moon is going to be less intense than the last full moon. Because I don't know about you, but that last full moon in December was intense. And so crossing fingers and hopefully, you know, most people just have a little bit of an emotional bump because the energies are a little high with the emotions right now. And then once you get over that bump and that hurdle, just it, hopefully it's smooth sailing for everybody. Uh, one of the things I wanted to present with you today is uh, last time I vlogged, I uh, had created a just be meditation and we learned how to come and just be in the moment. And I'd like to be able to add on to that. Um, if you remember the just be meditation, awesome. And if you do not, that's okay. We'll get into that in just a few minutes or moments, not minutes. 
in a few moments. And what I wanted to give a little bit of background for though, is that here, most of us live in the city. Some could be big cities, little cities, but a majority of us are surrounded with steel and concrete and brick, asphalt. We just don't really get into earth, nature. Um, one of my most favorite places to go walking is down on the waterfront. I love it. But the waterfront has sidewalks. So if you are one of those individuals who just walks that sidewalk, well, you're missing a really, really important component and element of nature. And that is rocks, sand, uh, and being able to ground with Mother Gaia. In fact, Mother Gaia is pulling very strongly to us we just went through winter solstice and she, and the winter solstice is asking us to slow down and with a slowing down you know it's also important to be able to ground or earth depending on which way you want to look at it some people will say it's grounding some people will say that it's earthing either way it's it's still the same so we're going to do this really quick just be meditation. I know the previously was a little bit longer. I just want to go through it real quick for those who may have not seen it. And so basically I want you to come into taking three breaths. We're going to take three deep breaths. Ready? I hope that when I'm breathing that you can hear that when I breathe, I am using my body like a, a conduit of source. But I'm also, the best way to, for in imagining it is think of a bamboo and how it's a hollow reed. And so you're just, there's no constriction of air whatsoever. It freely flows in and it freely flows out. And so we are there. And then now I want you to take a deep breath in and hold, hold the breath and let yourself center. Now with that centering, I want you to imagine threads of energy being pulled to you. And this is the past, okay? So pull it to you and just hold it. Allowing your breath to just move in and move out. Think of it like a wave. The wave comes in and the wave comes out. Okay. So now I want you to take another deep breath. Let it settle. I want you to breathe again. And this time I want you to pull the threads of energy of the future to you and hold. And on this aspect, you're holding the past and on this aspect, you're holding the future. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is take a super big, deep breath. Ready? Here we go. Hold it, and then I want you to imagine a pair of scissors. The scissors doesn't matter, and each time that you perform this meditation, the scissors can and will change. It just depends on what your need is at the time. So I want you to imagine your scissors now snipping and cutting away the energy cords of the past and the future, and bringing you and centering you down into just this moment, just be and take a couple of deep breaths. We'll take three. And let yourself settle. 
The next thing that we're going to do is the grounding or earthing part. I'm not going to get into too much in the discussions of the chakras. We do all have chakras, um, but we're not going to really use the chakras. The only reason I'm mentioning this is I want you to go beyond. So if you're familiar with chakras, in your pelvic region is the root chakra. And I want you to go down a little bit further than that. We're going to not stay in our pelvis. We're going to take this and put this more between our legs. And I want you to imagine a ball of energy. On part of the ball of energy is green. So this side, let's kind of imagine it's green. And on this side, let's imagine that that ball is brown. And I want you to take a deep breath in. And release it out. Now, on this side, I want you to take an energy cord and I want you to have the energy cord go down into Mother Gaia or Earth. And I want you to take the green cord and like it's connecting into Mother Gaia. And then I want you to take the brown cord and I want you to connect it in to Mother Gaia. And I want you to take a deep breath. Let's take two more deep breaths. Now, I want you to be in your core, in your heart, imagining the green and brown energy ball connecting down into Mother Gaia. Your feet are, should be flat. So whether you're sitting or whether you're standing, make sure that you have flat feet. And if you have the ability to be out in nature, oh my goodness, how awesome this would be. But I'm not talking about nature with concrete or asphalt. I'm talking actual dirt, grass, sand, rock. Okay. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're now going to breathe and take a really deep breath in. And we are going to breathe our feet, wiggle our little toes, wiggle those toes, wiggle those feet. Make sure that they are grounded, they are flat, they are, they are intact with Mother Gaia and Earth. Okay? And then as we take a deep breath in, I want you to imagine that you're breathing from your toes all the way through your legs up into your heart. Okay? Ready? Here we go. Take a deep, 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 deep breath in. And hold it. Hold it right here. Hold it at your heart. And I want you to imagine this beautiful energy that Mother Gaia is providing to you. She's providing you the most beautiful, pure, lovely energy. And now it's at your heart. And your heart is super strong. It's the strongest muscle that you have. And allow that heart to do a wonderful job of bringing the energy all through your body, all through your system, and allowing it to just beat. And enjoy this time, this grounding or earthing. Mother Gaia is always more than willing to provide the energies that we need. I just hope that after this moment that people do utilize the beautiful energies that Mother Gaia can provide to us. So let's go ahead and take a few more deep breaths And with each breath, imagine your heart is beating and the energies are moving all through you. And 
And that, my dear friends, is a beautiful, beautiful moment of grounding and earthing with Mother Gaia. She has so much to offer us and is such a wonderful source of grounding ourselves, earthing, coming into nature, coming into the oneness of our heart and our soul. And I hope that you have the ability to experience this in nature. You can experience this uh, right here in front of your computer, your mobile app, whatever it is that you're utilizing to see and view the video at this moment. And I hope that you have the ability to go out and enjoy this in nature as well, because Mother Gaia would absolutely love to be able to help ground you and bring you more centered and more into heart center. Thank you for sharing this absolutely beautiful, blessed moment with me. And thank you for allowing me to be able to share this beautiful, blessed moment with you. I greatly appreciate everything. I, and I hope that you do as well. So much love and so much light and absolutely magical blessings to you. May you be filled with love and light and peace. Peace to you.